Hello and welcome to the first episode of Trail Talk. I'm your host, the Vermont Jeep Girl. We will be bringing you some footage from the Go Topless Day event in Munson, Mass, where Old Blue broke a rear axle, and I will show you how to get off the trail with that broken axle. We will also be bringing you some footage from Brian Gabriel out in Moab, Utah. I would like to welcome Olympic 4x4 products and Power Tank as the sponsors for this month's show. We have teamed up to give away a tough and easy tire carrier from Olympic 4x4 products and a Pro Series tire repair kit from Power Tank. Two awesome prizes every off-roader would love to have. I will show you how you can go about winning those prizes a little bit later. We're at Olympic Industries today where all the products are developed and engineered and manufactured for Olympic 4x4 products. We are doing a video here on our new tough and easy tire carrier which as you can see you simply open up your latch and this heavy duty tire carrier opens with it all in one motion in unison and when you close it it's now locked in place. You can go ahead and push this here, push this here. This thing is solid. And the reason it's solid is there are three different dampeners and locking devices that we're going to show you in just a minute. Over here, you'll notice that we have a spindle. And all the weight of this spare tire goes to this spindle, which is bolted directly to the chassis of the vehicle. So the weight is on the chassis, not on the tailgate. There's a Delrin bushing down here that is self-lubricating inside this highly engineered hub. And on top here is a metal bearing. You also have a Zerk fitting here, so you can keep everything nicely and greased up. And that's why it opens and closes so easily. What we're going to do now is we're going to remove the spare tire so we can show you the mechanisms that make this thing such a rock solid tire carrier. Stay tuned for how you can win one of these awesome prizes from our sponsors, Olympic 4x4 Products and Power Tank. We will announce the two winners on our July show right here on Trail Talk. These are two great prizes every off-roader would love to have. One lucky off-roader will win the sturdy, tough and easy tire carrier by Olympic 4x4 Products, and the other will win the Pro Series Tire Repair Kit by Power Tank. Send me an email of what off-roading means to you. I would now like to share the footage from the Go Topless Day in Munson, Massachusetts, where me and Old Blue attended and she broke an axle while up on the trail. Massachusetts 
at the Go Topless Day. And Old Blue is here. She's a little hurt right now because I have a broken axle. That's right. So now I'm just waiting for the recovery team to come over here and take me off the trail. We have some video footage from our Utah reporter, Brian Gabriel, at the Seven Mile Rim Trail in Moab, Utah. Check it out. Now I'm going to share a tip and show you how to get off the trail if you happen to break an axle. Here we are out on a trail. It's a beautiful day. Blue sky, sun's out. Can't complain. It's a gorgeous day. We're out enjoying the trails and all of a sudden you hear this god awful snap. You've heard it before, you know what it is. That's right, it's a broken axle. I'm going to take a little time right now to talk about what to do if you get a broken axle on the trail. 
I'm going to show you a couple things that you can do to get yourself out of the woods safely and down to the road where then you can trailer it home or call your tow truck. While on the trail at the Go Topless Day event in Munson, Massachusetts, May and Old Blue had an incident out on the trail. She broke her rear axle on the driver's side. And I happen to have it right here. This is Old Blue's Dana 35 C-clip axle. And as you can see on the end here is where she snapped. In a way, I kind of got lucky. And I'll tell you why. This axle here, as you can see, she broke way down on the end. Therefore, I still have the tire and the axle to play with. Since my tire was already working its way out, we had to take the high lift jack and raise the Jeep up very carefully because she was on uneven ground, very carefully. Push the axle and the tire back in and also her drums, everything covered the brakes. We had to push everything back in. And once we did, we were able to get her out of the woods. And I'll show you a little tip that every off-roader should know if you're in the woods and you break your axle. Okay, most of you who do run the trails, you all carry yourselves a handsaw. Good idea to carry one because you never know when you might need to cut something out of your way that just happens to be hanging in the trail. Look around on the ground for a piece of wood about this length and you know about this thick. I'd say this is probably about three inches around. And what we did with the handsaw is we cut all the little knobs off, all the little branches off. And this is the actual one that we used in Munson, Massachusetts. You can see how the tire rubbed on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a pretty good stiff piece of wood and we're going to get two tie down straps, which every off-roader should be carrying those in their rigging box anyway. I just happen to have the two that we use to get out of Munson Mass with me. And what we're going to do you're going to want to take this stiff piece of wood and what we're going to do is we're going to attach it I just happen to have rock sliders to my rock slider, fold it about halfway in the center of your tire, and what we're going to do now is ratchet strap it onto the springs back there and my rock sliders. Okay, I got my first ratchet strap in place and safely secured. I'm going to take the rest of my extra here and just stick it inside, out of the way. We're going to get our second ratchet strap. I'm 
Now, because I have swampers, I have these side lugs, and as I'm going down the trail, once I get this set up, I'm probably going to be thunking, thunk, 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 thunk. Um, still can do it, just go slow and secure this loosely, but enough to keep your tire and axle in place. With my piece securely mounted on my sliders and on my leaf spring, it's loose, but yet it's going to allow the tire to turn. And every so often before I get off the trail, I'm gonna have to stop and may maybe tighten these back down or loosen them, see how it goes. But as I start to go, you will see how this will put enough pressure on this tire and its axle to stay in place. By using this branch and these two tie downs and my high lift jack to push that axle back in there, I am now able to get off the trail safely. I should have someone who drives behind me or walks behind me off the trail just to make sure that if this starts sliding out again, we'll need to stop and reposition the wood. This is one way to get out of the trail. This is the technique that we used to get me off the trail down in Munson, Massachusetts and get Old Blue back down to the parking lot. And it worked. By using this very simple technique with your broken axle, you can get out of the woods nicely. You can get down to where you need to get uh, your loaded on a trailer or call for a tow truck or a flatbed. Ideally, Carrying extra spare parts is always a plus, which I do do. I carry spare U-joints, I carry my serpentine belt, I carry an extra drive shaft, I carry everything except for <laughs> the axle shaft. And as much as I really wish I had my axle shaft while I was out in Munson, Massachusetts, you know, things happen for a reason. I'm really happy that I was able to get out of the woods with this technique and it served me well. The one thing that I have learned over the years with my off-roading experience is that off-roaders are very creative and they know how to survive in the woods. And just this very simple step gets you out of the woods with your broken axle down to a place where you can A, either trailer it or B, get a flatbed and flatbed at home. So this is one technique for the C-clip axles. Here is some more footage from our Utah reporter, Brian Gabriel, at the Fins and Things Trail in Moab, Utah. Check it out.
closer to the tire and the tire cannot go uh, back on, I'll show you another technique that you can use for that. And we have done this a couple times with French Jeeps out in the woods and it's worked very well. Now if for some reason your axle does break closer to the tire and, you, and the tire can't stay on because there's not enough axle to hold it in the tube, there is another way that we can use and apply this procedure. Again, you're going to get yourself a piece of wood. The only thing with this one is you're going to want a little bit thicker piece of wood, uh, maybe about five inches round. And what you're going to do, uh, you need it to cut maybe about here, maybe a good four foot piece. You're going to take it, your tire is not on, you're going to take your piece of wood and you're going to stick it underneath to the axle, okay? You're going to use the tie downs again and you're going to ratchet it on there. What this piece of wood is going to do is it's going to be like a ski. So when you're driving through the woods or you're being pulled out of the woods, this piece of wood is going to drag on the ground and it'll keep from your uh, brakes and everything dragging in the ground with it. It'll actually hold it off the ground and it'll drag along. That's another way that you can get out of the woods if your axle is broken closer to the tire. We use this procedure on a Jeep that we came across in the woods while we were out wheeling. He had an AMC 20 and he had broke right, the, right at where the tire was. So what we did, we cut that nice chunk of wood for him, connected it to his axle, and he was able to, believe it or not, drive on his front axle out of the woods. A couple friends every now and then had to sit on his front fender to hold that tire down to grab the ground because of the terrain, but he was able to get out of the woods with that broken axle. These are just a few things that you can do if you do get a broken axle and you're on the trail and you don't have another spare. So I hope this was helpful and thank you for joining me today. Trail tech tips. I want to hear from you. If you have any trail tech tips that you'd like to share with me, please email them to me at Trail Talk at Wasted Trails 4x4Magazine.com. If we use your Trail Tech tip, we will send you a Wasted Trails 4x4 Magazine decal. So I look forward to hearing from you and let me hear your tips. Thank you. Now here's another word from our sponsors. so that when you put the tire on here, you press this up against the tire and the tire can't bounce like that. You have another dampener inside here that presses up against the tailgate. When that is in position, the tire cannot get pushed this way. All right. And then what's nice here is you'll see you have two time joints. When you turn this piece in, it pulls these together. When you loosen it, it pushes them out together. That way, when you are adjusting it, you're able to close this, tighten this, so that you bring it all the way in, so that this has no shimmy. You see, this thing is solid. You're not able to push this, okay? The whole vehicle is moving, not your tire cure. And the very unique feature that we have is our T-bracket that slips into this adjustable system on our tailgate. 
so your tire is not able to jiggle on you or bounce around like this on you and it gives you a very secure lock when you close it so everything is secure and you eliminate the vibration you eliminate any tire jiggle or wiggle and it's really a superior tire carrier for your Jeep Wrangler. To enter our June giveaway, simply send me an email of what off-roading means to you. It's that easy. We will announce the two winners of our July show right here on Trail Talk. These are two great prizes every off-roader would love to have. One lucky off-roader will win the sturdy, tough and easy tire carrier by Olympic 4x4 products. And the other will win a Pro Series tire repair kit by Power Tank. Send me an email of what off-roading means to you. I want to say thank you for joining me today on our first edition of Trail Talk. And I look forward to the future here of these shows because we have a lot of good things coming about. So thank you for joining me and have a good night.